Are you curious to know how you can make printables that you can sell on Etsy? Then be sure to stick around for this video as I'll be showing you how. Now, I have to warn you that this video is going to be a little bit longer than some of my other videos, but it's going to be jam packed with so much good information. So you'll want to make sure you stick around all the way to the end. Hi, my name's Alicia. And on this channel, I help you to create digital products that you can sell on Etsy so you can start making passive income online. Now, after posting a video on how to create wall art prints that you can sell on Etsy. Now, if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link to it just above me here on the screen. But after that video, I had an overwhelming response from the community asking how they could create similar style products or even printables that they could sell on Etsy. Now, if you don't know what a printable is, essentially, it's a digital product that you can create and then the customer can then go ahead and print it at either home or they can go to a local print shop and print it off there. Now, some printables that you might be familiar with are things like daily planner sheets or planner sheets in general, calendars, invites, checklists, chore charts, gift tags, labels, similar to these style products. So instead of a Canva template where you sell them the template that they can then edit and then use for their own personal use, this is a digital product that can be downloaded by the customer, generally as a PDF, and then print it off to use either write on or display on their walls, for example. Now, although I've had some experience selling my own printables on Etsy, I'm definitely not a pro when it comes to printables. It's definitely not my zone of genius, you could say. My zone of genius lies in selling Canva templates. As you know from my previous videos that I've got here on YouTube, I share about how I started a successful Etsy shop selling Canva templates. But although it's not my line of specialty, I was still curious to find out more so that I could help you. I was curious to find other people within the community, within the Etsy seller community, that knew printables like the back of their hand. So that's what I did. I went in search for some mentors that could help me create these printables that I could then sell on Etsy. And in my search, I found some superstar sellers and teachers within the community that know everything about printables. And their names are Julie and Cody of Gold City Ventures. After researching more about their own successful Etsy shops, I decided to look even further to see what they offer within the community for other Etsy sellers just like you and me. And I actually found that they actually sell their programs. So they sell their own knowledge to other people. So I went ahead and purchased their program and it was just what I was looking for. So not only did I discover and learn a few tips and tricks as an Etsy seller myself, but it also gave me the confidence to create, produce and sell professional looking printables for myself, for my own Etsy shop. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about this program that I've mentioned, so the e-printables course by Julie and Cody, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go check it out. Now, currently the enrollment is actually closed for public enrollment, but if you sign up for the waitlist, not only are you gonna get some helpful tips from Julie and Cody inside your inbox, you're also gonna be given a very special opportunity to join the course at a very special price. So be sure to sign up for the waitlist, even if you're not ready to go ahead and join the program right now. Okay, now at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you a walkthrough of the course so that you can get a better understanding of what kind of modules and lessons are included in the course to see if it's right for you. But for now, let's go ahead and dive on into the rest of this video. So this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create a daily printable planner that you can sell on Etsy. So these are the exact tips and strategies I learned within the course that I've just taken. So the ePrintables course, and I'm going to show you how you can implement implement it to create your own Etsy printable. Okay, ready to dive on in then? Let's go ahead and jump on over to my computer and I'll show you how. Okay, so like I mentioned today, I'm going to be creating a daily printable planner sheet. 
So this is a printable that a customer can download and then print at home or at a local print shop and then they can insert it into their planner. So to get started, what we wanna do is we want to go to create a design and we want to start with a template that is a generic planner size. I like to use just general paper size for this. So at eight and a half by 11 inches. So to do that, just go to create a design in the corner and then where it's got custom size, just click on that button right there. And then for the width, we want 8.5, actually, just quickly, let's go ahead and change this to inches. Sorry. So we want 8.5 by 11. Okay. And then go to create a new design. Once your design is open, you can set up a few things. You can add in um, these bleed marks or print marks. So essentially, if we just scroll in, it's just going to let you know that most printers will actually cut off the print at this point here. Okay, so you just wanna keep that in mind when you are creating your design. Now to turn that on and off, all you need to do is go to the file button here to the left at the top, click on that, and then you can either show rulers, so these rulers up here, um, you can show guides, so if you wanted to add any guides to your printable so that you can you know, get things lined up and straight, you can do that. So I like to have that checked on. And then you can have show margins or you can have show print bleed. So I've got that checked at the moment. If I uncheck that, you'll see those lines just disappear. See those guidelines disappear. So I like to keep that on just to keep me in check to make sure that I'm not designing anything that really needs to be printed outside of that line. Okay, so we've got our base here. We've got our base document. Now, all we need to do is start creating our printable. So the kind of things that I would like to see in this printable, now this is completely up to you, completely up to what you think your customers would like. Considering this is a daily sheet, I would like to include a timed schedule. So this is a, um, a list of lines that would be from like, let's say 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then space for my customer to write in anything that they would like for each um, hour of the day. I also wanna make sure I include a space to include the date so the customer can fill in their date. I would also like to include an area where they can add their priorities for their day, a checklist for the day if they like to you know, mark things off and check things off. I would also like to include an area where they can fill in in the meals for the day. So what are they having for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And a section for a workout. So if they want to write down the workout for the day, and also a section where they can check off how many glasses or bottles of water they're having per day. So those are the kind of things that I would like to include in my design. So let me go ahead now and show you how you can start implementing these elements into your design. So the main portion of this tutorial is going to be spent in the elements section of Canva. So all you need to do is just head on over to elements here. And then what we want to start doing is creating lines and boxes to portion out each section of our planner. So the very first thing I want to include are a few lines for my schedule of the day. So all you need to do is go to the lines and shapes section within Canva. Click here on any line that you like. I'm just going to go for a straight line, but you could choose dashes or dots or anything that you like really. But just to keep this simple, let's go ahead and just select the plain line. Click that once and what it's gonna do is it's going to show your line here on your design. This is quite a thick line. So what I wanna do is I wanna try and minimize this line and make it a little bit thinner. So um, Canva actually gives you a couple of options um, to edit this line, which is quite handy. So all you need to do is click on the line and then you're given a few options here at the top. You give an option to change the color, the line weight. You can change the style of the line if you wanted to perhaps toggle it in between dashes or dots, for example. You can do that with just one click. I'm going to just undo that. You can also um, add arrows or dots to the start or the end of your line as well. So you can add little extra details to your design. So let's say I wanted this arrow here at the end. You can see you can easily do that for both the start and also the finish. Okay, so there's quite a few things that you can do with just this element in itself. Now, what I wanna do is change this line weight to about three. So let's go to three and I'll show you how that line weight changes. 
there we go so you can see now we've got this thinner line that is just a bit more appealing when we are creating a planner so let's go ahead and just change the length of this line just by clicking and dragging and let's say I want it to be something like that so let's say we had this line here this is going to be the, our very first line for our schedule and what I would do is I would copy this however many times I would like my schedule or my hourly schedule layout. So for this um, layout, I'm going to have it from going from 6 a.m. until around 8 p.m. So that means I'm going to need about 15 of these lines. So all you would do is you would go ahead and then just duplicate this 15 times or another 14 times. You can do that by just doing copy and paste or you can click the duplicate button here. So I'm just going to use that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now we've got 15 lines that are exactly the same as that initial line. But as you can see here, it's all wonky. It's not quite lining up. So what I want to do is I perhaps want the very first line. So the very first line of my schedule, let's just scroll in a little bit here to be around this position here, because I'm probably going to put a title here to maybe say today and then the date over here. And I perhaps want the very last line to be right at the bottom here. And what I'm going to show you now is really quite a handy um, tool, and that's the tidy tool. So what we can do is now select all of these. So we've got all of our lines selected. Just go to the position button here. And then here at the very bottom, we've got space evenly, vertically, horizontally, or tidy up. And what this is going to do is it's going to magically evenly space everything and tidy it up so it all looks neat and tidy. So let's go ahead and click that. And then voila, we've got our lines all um, lined up perfectly. So now all I want to do is just move this to this side here because I'm going to have my schedule on this side and then a few other elements here on this side so you can see how we're starting to develop our daily planner printable okay so let's go ahead and start creating some of the other elements here okay so let's go ahead and add some text so we want text to to um, identify what time of the day it is for each section of this line so to do that let's go to the text button click here to add a little bit of body text Let's scroll this one all the way up to the top here. Scroll in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and let's go ahead and change this text to say 6 a.m. for example. Let's pop this right into the corner just above this line. And I'm gonna change the alignment so it's aligned to the left. Okay, so now we've got 6 a.m. Now all you wanna do is just copy this and paste it for every single line up until you have whatever time schedule that you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I finished that up. So I've just added in all those extra text boxes. I've changed it so that it says 6 a.m. all the way through to 8 p.m. Okay, so you can see how this is coming together. Let's just scroll out just a little bit here so we can see that. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding some other elements. So then the very next thing I want to include is a priorities box, a checklist box, breakfast, lunch, dinner box, a workout box, and also a water box. So to do that, all you need to do is go back to elements. Here we can select each individual element, whether or not we want a filled in box or an open box. Um, obviously, there's a whole heap of different elements that you can choose, but for simplicity's sake and to keep this as simple as possible, let's just go ahead and select this open box here. So just click on that once and what it's going to do is it's going to pop a box right here on the screen. I would really like the lines here for the schedule and also the lines for my priority box and all the other elements to be the same weight. So in order to do that, all you need to do is start shrinking down the box and you'll see how the line gets thinner. So just keep shrinking that until you have it to the exact weight or very similar to the weight that we've got here. Let's just scroll in so we can see that a bit more clearly. So see how it's getting smaller and smaller, the weight's getting smaller, just put that a little bit thinner. And then let's just hover that over one of the lines. Actually, we can probably even make it a little bit bigger now. Scrolling, 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 and voila. I reckon we've got something pretty similar to our scheduled lines here. 
So once you pinch it in from the corners, you can then go ahead and expand it on each side without actually changing the weight of the line itself. So that can be a really handy trick to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and just open this box up. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color of this to black for now. We can always change this later, but just so it's all uniform. Okay, so we can see how this is starting to look good. It's starting to match up. So we want a priorities box, a checklist box. So let's go ahead and maybe copy that. And we want a box perhaps underneath it like so. I'm also going to want a breakfast, lunch and dinner box. So let's go ahead and maybe copy and paste that. But let's go and make the breakfast, lunch and dinner boxes perhaps a little bit smaller like that. So we'll copy that again drag that down again let's drag that one down whoops and then another one for a workout box and then we're going to want one more for water but let me just scroll out so we can see how this is looking okay what i might do is i might actually make these boxes maybe just a little bit thinner there we go three so it's just about maneuvering things into into place and then we can use the tidy button in a second to make sure that this is all lined up nicely. Okay, so we just want one more box here for water and I'll show you how I use um, elements to create a cool looking water box as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and just select all of these now, go to the position button, go to tidy up and now we have our boxes all evenly spaced, which is fantastic. So again, all I wanna do is start labeling these boxes. So I'm just gonna copy one of these scheduled text boxes and paste it and then just pop it over here. So let's scroll in a bit so we can see what we're typing. And let's go ahead and relabel this one priorities. Like so, and then go ahead and copy and paste that one. And let's label this one checkbox, or oh, sorry, checklist. And I'm just gonna go ahead now and label the rest of these boxes. Okay, so we've got our priorities, our checklist, our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner, our workout, and now our water. Now to make this a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead and add a couple of icons here that people can either color in or, or check off when they're, you know, they've completed their water intake for the day. So let's go ahead back to elements, close off where it says lines and shapes, and then start typing in water or water bottle, then hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give you a whole heap of graphics and elements that you can use within your design of water bottles. I don't want any um, moving elements here. So let's just go to graphics. And we can also toggle to make sure that all the animation is static rather than animated and apply filters. And then let's go ahead and select a fun looking water bottle. So you could do something like this, for example, or something like this. You want something that's an outline rather than a full colored in element. So let's just keep having a look here. Okay, so I kind of like this one here. Let's go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it's gonna come up really big on the screen. So let's go ahead and scroll that down and let's scroll it into our water section here. Now, as you can see, we don't want it to be too small so that the customer can't actually understand what it is. So you can see that this box here is a little bit too small. So I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments to make this box just a little bit bigger and then perhaps turn this on its side, something like this. There we go. Um, because I want it to fit under here and go all the way to the corner here. Okay, I think that works out well, fantastic. Let's scroll on in again and let's go ahead and just duplicate this perhaps six or seven times. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I might just scooch it up a little bit. Fantastic. All right, so let's scroll on out now. So you can see that we've got the basics starting to come together. Now I just want a title here at the top, perhaps to say today, and then I want the an area where the customer can also put the date. So let's go ahead and just select some text, a title text, for example. And let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Very good. And then I want a similar text for the date. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that one. And I want this to say date. And then I want to copy one of these lines here. I've just grouped that, so I'm gonna ungroup it for now. 
take this line, copy and paste, and then I just want to put that one over here so that the customer can add in the date and they can print this out as many times as they like over and over again. Um, yeah, okay, so we're starting to see how this is coming together. So what I would do is I would go ahead now and just adjust a few things. Perhaps I want a little bit more of a um, gap between the top here and where it says today and perhaps make this title a little bit bigger. I'm going to maybe move things around, maybe make things a little bit smaller so that it you know fits a little bit nicer within this page. So just maneuver and manipulate this as much as you feel needed. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to select the whole thing. I'm going to shrink it down ever so slightly, pop it down here. So we've got a little bit more room at the top. Excellent. Now you could go ahead and finish this up as it is, and you could sell it in your Etsy shop. Absolutely. But what you want to do is you want to think about what your customer might like. Although this is a great design, it's got everything that the customer would need. But let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's make it um, have a little bit more flair and a little bit more interest so that it stands out amongst other Etsy shops and other Etsy products that are selling something similar. So when I was thinking about what kind of design I would like to create for this Etsy printable, I was thinking, why not something a little bit more delicate? I was thinking I would love to incorporate things like delicate fonts and perhaps delicate flowers or floral images into this design. And the beautiful thing is, is that once you've created it, this base, as it is, as it stands right now, save this template so that you can use it over and over again, because you can create multiple dot designs. You could create hundreds of designs just from this one single template, just by changing up the type, um, sorry, the font. So the font here for your title, you could change up the font here for each individual section. You could change up the colors of the lines. You could make them lighter or darker. You could add background images. You could add clip arts. So that's what I want to show you today. I want to show you how I'm going to manipulate this very exact template and then change it into something so much more interesting and then um, show you how you can also go ahead and purchase a, a bundle of clip arts, for example, and then easily change those clip arts to make completely new designs. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead now to a um, design marketplace called Creative Market. And I want to search for some floral designs and floral clip art elements that I can use within my design. But I not only want to buy one type of clip art, I want to buy a whole entire bundle so that I can go ahead and switch out the elements to make brand new designs. So let's go ahead now over to um, Creative Market and I'll show you how you can find these designs and purchase them so that you can add them to your designs as well. So I've got Creative Market open right here and depending on what kind of design you'd like to include in your printable, all you would do is go here to, and go into the search bar and start searching for what you like. So I'm thinking I would like watercolor floral clip art designs. So I'm going to start typing that in. So watercolor, I'm going to use the US spelling here. Um, so watercolor floral clip art and hit the enter button. Whoops, if I spelt that right. And then what Creative Market is going to do is it's going to give you a whole heap of different design elements that you can use within your Canva design. So within your printable design. So you can see here straight off the bat, you can see some beautiful delicate elements here. But instead of just purchasing one type of design element, what I would highly suggest doing is purchasing a bundle because within a bundle, you're going to get a whole heap of different design elements that are within the same theme and that have the same design kind of illustration style, but are completely different to each other. The very first one that I see that stood out to me was this one right here. So a watercolor floral bundle, you're getting 90 different elements. So different collections in one, which means it says here, you're getting over 6,000 files to use within your design. So you can imagine how many of these printables you could create and sell on Etsy and design within just a few minutes. And I'll show you how that's done. So let's go ahead and just jump on in here to this bundle. And the beautiful thing is, is buying something like this, buying a bundle like this. So not only can it be used for your daily printable planner worksheets, you could use these to create things like like invitations 
or postcards. You could do this to create wall art. So like really you're getting such good value by purchasing something like this. I will leave a link to this exact bundle in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourself. But I'm actually going to be purchasing this today. Now you can see here, it's going to cost me 44 Australian dollars. Now you always want to make sure that you're getting the commercial license here to make sure that you can actually sell the designs that you are creating. But you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Alicia, $44? You want me to pay $44 for design elements when I can probably get them for free off Canva? And yes, absolutely. You can go ahead and use the Canva, the free Canva elements that you see on Canva, or you could perhaps just buy one bundle, perhaps for maybe $10. But for this, you're getting just so much value. And trust me, you're not just only going to be using this once, you're going to be using it multiple times. Like I mentioned, if they've got 90 different collections, you could design 90 different planner sheets, which means you would make your money, you know, selling a printable in just, you know, a handful of sales. So you can see where the value lies in getting something like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase this now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these collections within this design. And then I am going to upload it into Canva and I'm going to show you how we can start manipulating our planner printable design. Now, just one more thing I wanted to note before I do go ahead and purchase this is you want to make sure that you are actually selecting a bundle that has elements that are either in PNG file or that are in um, SVG file. So just scroll on down. Sometimes you're going to be able to find out the details within the um, about this product here. Now, I went and had a look. And I scrolled all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, there are so many different elements within this bundle. And it doesn't say anything about what kind of files are included. So I just went ahead and just opened up one of the um, actual files that they've got here to just get a little bit more information about what's actually included. So if you go on over and open up one of the bundles that are included within this bundle, um, you can see here, if we scroll down and show more, it's going to give you a little bit more information about what's included. So here, all are in high resolution, 300 DPI in PNG and EPS files. EPS is um, so that you can use it within Adobe programs. But as long as it's got PNG, you're good to go. So I can be confident to know that all of the elements within this bundle are actually in PNG files. OK. All right, excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that now and I will catch you back in Canva where I'll start uploading some of these designs. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a brand new folder within my Canva account and I've just labeled it watercolor floral clip art. I've just gone ahead and selected one of the collections within that bundle. It was the, uh, I think it was called the Santorini um, floral bundle. And so what I did is I just selected all the PNGs within that folder and then I've gone ahead and added them to this watercolor floral clip art just so that it makes it easier for me to find. Okay, so here you can see here are a few different elements within this collection and I wanna start adding these to this design, start playing around with the transparency, um, the positioning, the rotation of these elements to make it look a little bit more interesting. So I like this sort of style that we've got going on here. So this kind of banner style of PNG, let's go ahead and click that, add it to our design. And I want to add this one to the top here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. And then let's go ahead and expand that. So it goes all the way across. And as you can see, it looks a little bit cluttered with all of this text. So we've got the today and the date, and you can't quite see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play around with the transparency. So let's go ahead and perhaps change the transparency of this to about 30%. There we go. So you can see how that looks a lot more better. And I'm going to change the position so that it's all the way to the back. So we've got our text and our elements all you know, popping out to the front. So it's in front of our design. Okay, so I like the look of that. What I might do is I might add a couple more elements here to the bottom just to give it a little bit more interest. So let's say, let's select this one here. I'm gonna perhaps rotate that a bit, add it to the bottom here. I'm going to change the transparency again to 30%. You want to keep it consistent across the board and then change the position to back. Fantastic. That's looking great. And maybe I'm just going to add one more to the bottom corner here. 
So let's go ahead and select this one, for example, or maybe this one here. Again, you could, you know, change it and rotate it a little, change the transparency again to 30% and position to the back and just have a play around with it until you feel like that's looking as the way that you would like it to, to be displayed. And as you can see, our plane printable has now been transformed into something quite special and unique. Another thing too is that can you see how easy it is just to quickly you know pop in a couple of you know different clip arts within us the same collection and within minutes you've actually transformed this printable into a brand new design. Now I'm going to change up the font a little bit to make it a little bit more delicate so I'm going to scroll in here I'm going to go to where it says today and I'm going to change the font here to something a little bit more delicate, Giaza. So I might just type that in. I've checked out this font before and I quite liked it. There we go. So I'm gonna just select that and then let's go ahead and expand that up. There we go, looking great. And I wanna change this one to be the same as font as this one here. So again, let's go like that, this up a little bit. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead. And now I'm gonna go ahead and change all of these fonts to something a little bit different. So I'm going to change this one to a font called Nexa. There we go. And I think I might change all of these fonts instead of being lower capitals. I'm gonna change it to be upper capitals. So capital letters and all you, can, all you need to do is just click the three buttons at the top where it says more and then go to uppercase like so. Now, an easy way to change all of the fonts without having to change them all individually is you can use what's called the copy style button. So make sure that whatever one you want to copy is highlighted, then go to the more button and see this little paintbrush here, this little roller, it says copy style. All you need to do is click that once and then go ahead and then click on the um, other font or the other element that you'd like to copy the style of. So I'm going to go here to where it says priorities and hopefully that'll change. Fantastic. So now it's changed the style. So we're talking the um, the font size, the font style, um, it'll change it across the board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for each individual text box here. Okay, this is starting to look really nice. I guess the one last thing that I would do just to jazz this up a little bit is I would change these bold dark lines to either perhaps change the transparency of them so they're not so dark or perhaps change the color of them so that they're kind of picking up a color that's within our elements that we've added here. So maybe we could create a um, lines in a navy blue or a blush pink, something like that. So I'm going to change all of these lines and boxes to be a navy blue color and perhaps change the transparency to see how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So select them all. I'm just going to start off with the lines first and then go here to the top button where it says color. Click on that and then let's go ahead and go to um, here where it's got photo colors. So what Canva actually does is it figures out what kind of photos or clip art that you've added to your design. And then it gives you some suggestions of the colors that are included into that design. So it picks out those colors for you, which is really handy. So you could pick something like this navy blue, maybe even this forest green color. So let's go ahead and check this color right here and see how that looks. So let's click out now. Okay, so you can see that hasn't changed too much. So let's go back now and perhaps select a different color instead. Perhaps maybe this lighter color. Oh yeah, that's great. That's looking really good. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and change all of these boxes and this line here as well to that same color. Fantastic. Let's scroll on out now and see how this looks. Excellent. As you can see, just within a few minutes with changing up fonts, colors, and adding clip arts, we've transformed that pretty basic planner sheet template into something quite unique and elegant, something that I'm personally, I would love to buy on Etsy. Now, all you need to do in order to um, save this file as a PDF, so you can then go ahead and sell it on your Etsy shop. All you need to do is go to the download button here, click on that button and then go to file type and we wanna select PDF, but we want the print so we've got high quality multi-page document. We wanna make sure that we've got that one selected and then just go ahead and click download. 
And then it's going to start downloading your document for you, which you can then add to your Etsy listing and start selling on your Etsy shop. Let's go ahead and open that up now so we can see what it looks like. And there we go. Here is our Etsy printable planner sheet, our daily planner sheet that's been created and ready to be uploaded into our Etsy shop. Okay, so there we go, my friends, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how you can create a daily printable planner just like I did. Now, like I mentioned before, lessons just like the one that I just showed you are explained in the e-printables course by Julie and Cody. But for now, let's go ahead and jump on back into my computer and I'll show you a walkthrough of the course so you can see what other amazing lessons are included. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive on into the course that has helped me um, design printables for my own Etsy shops. So this is the course that has helped me get so much more knowledge, information and tips that have helped me better my e-printables and helped me get the knowledge that I have just shown you today within this tutorial. So once you jump into the e-printables course, this is what you're going to discover. Now, as you can see here, I've only completed about 41% of this course and still I have learned so, so much. So there's still so, so much to be learned from this course. You can also um, pick and choose the things that you would like to learn most about and then if it's not relevant to you you can go ahead and leave that out so as you can see here we've got um, a welcome um, module to the course where Julie and Cody introduce themselves they explain their story and then they um, go ahead and explain how you can get the most out of this course so then we've got a few different lessons on what kind of printables you should sell. So they give you a whole heap of different ideas. So here we've got 50 plus printable ideas that you can sell. They go through seasonal trends and they talk about bundles. So how to bundle up your e-printables in order to make even more sales on Etsy. Then we've got um, information about getting started on how to make your printables. They talk about commercial use, how to find fonts and graphics for your designs and um, more helpful information like that. Then there's information about how to make printables with Canva. So they're giving you an overview of Canva and then a whole list of different products that you can create using their Canva templates. So they actually give you templates that you can use and then modify to sell in your own shop. So they do this for a few different programs. Obviously, um, the tutorial that I showed you today was with Canva, but they also have tutorials on how to make printables with Adobe Illustrator. So if you're an Adobe fan, you can use these um, templates and tutorials. They also show you how to create editable printables. So let's say a customer wants something that has personalization, they show you how you can do that. They also show you how you can create printables using Cordial, which is actually a um, editable program that a customer can use to then edit their own details and customizations. So they go through a whole heap of information regarding Cordial. They also give you tutorials on how to package your printables. So how um, your best practices, resizing printables, etc. Then they've got um, lessons on how to make your listing images. And this is all in-depth information on how to create your listing images to help even more traffic um, turn into buyers, I guess you could say. They give you helpful information on how to list your products. Um, um, how much should you charge for your products? So there is just so much information. It goes on and on. We've got marketing and advertising advice. There's how to optimize your shop. So they go through your Etsy stats, how to, um, how to hook up your Google Analytics, how to use a program called eRank to improve sales and so and and so forth. They also go through the Etsy seller app. So this is the mobile app that you get on your phone. So they go through um, what the app is, how to monitor your orders and customer conversations, which is quite important when you are selling um, anything on Etsy is how to talk to your customers if they have any questions. Then they've got a whole heap of bonus sections. So um, uh, if you want to take it beyond Etsy and perhaps sell on your own website, they've got some information about that from different Etsy sellers. So these are professionals and other Etsy sellers within the community that have their own professional advice. 
There's also more additional research here. So, um, sorry, additional resources. So um, we have a few different people within the community also talking about their success and how they've um, used printables to create a business on Etsy. Um, there's also options for editable printables here. So another bonus section. So they go through template, which is similar to cordial. Um, so more information about how to use template to create your Etsy printables as well. So as you can see, this course is jam packed with information. This has got everything you need to create a successful Etsy shop selling e-printables. Um, they really do cover so much good information in here. And the awesome thing too is that if you do have any additional questions or you feel like you're stuck with anything, the course actually gives you a 30-day free pass to their private Facebook group where they not only have weekly Q&A questions, so where Julie and Cody actually come on every week and um, run through any questions that you have live. So they have these live workshops but they also occasionally have other professionals or other Etsy seller gurus um, come in and also give their advice as well. So there's just so much to be learned with using this course. Okay, so if you want to learn more about the ePrintables course, be sure to go ahead and click the very first link in the description box below. Go ahead and join that waitlist. I promise you won't regret it. And it's free to join the waitlist anyway, so you've got nothing to lose. And don't forget, when you do join that waitlist, Julie and Cody will send you a very special offer to join the course at a very special price when the doors do open open for enrollment, okay? Okay, I wish you all the very best and I hope to see you inside the ePrintables course soon. Okay, bye for now.